the bright light of public attention needs to be turned on at a very high wattage on a problem that exists in the shadows in a very dark and scary place. With great power and influence comes great responsibility. And no one will debate that probably the leagues you represent here today have more power and influence in our country than maybe any other institutions that I can think of. Professional sports must do a better job of setting an example to young people and victims of domestic violence who face very difficult decisions as they struggle with holding their abusers accountable. Professional sports, with very few exceptions, have done little to hold those who commit this crime accountable. I'm anxious to hear how you view your responsibility to independently gather the facts and hold the professional athletes that commit these crimes accountable with sanctions within your leagues. Um, I also um, handled domestic violence cases for many years, started the first domestic violence, domestic violence unit in Kansas City, and when I began that unit in the 90s, um, the detectives told me, well, you know, we really can't do these cases because victims won't come forward. Victims refuse to testify, so why are you doing this? Why are you making us go through the motions of trying to prosecute domestic violence? And I said, well, we better shut down the homicide unit. And they looked at me blankly, and I said, well, we don't have victims in homicide cases, but we manage to put a case together based on an investigation as to what occurred based on witnesses' testimony to wi who witnessed the event, based on physical evidence, based on 911 calls. And I point this out because I think one of the biggest problems you all have writ large is this notion that you all can sit back and wait to see if there is, in fact, a criminal prosecution and conviction. And I think you all know, fundamentally, the pressure that is brought to bear on that victim from the moment an arrest is made, or from the moment the team finds out. Because many times, you all know, you have a lot of off-duty police officers that are huge fans, and they work for you all. And when they find out one of your guys are in trouble, I know this for a fact, because when I was the prosecutor, I got the call that Chris Carter was involved in something in Westport, a big, famous chief player, and I immediately heard from the team about what I should and shouldn't do with Chris Carter. Before I'd even heard from the police department, I heard from the team. So what we really have to do here is look to see what you are doing independently to investigate these cases and independently determine what the facts are. Because that's how the NFL got in trouble, Mr. Vincent, is you didn't see it, Roger Goodell didn't see it as his responsibility to ask the question, do you, is there another tape and I need to see it before we do punishment? Because I want to know from each of you, how serious is your league about an independent investigation into the facts? Or how content are you to sit back and go, well, maybe she won't go through with it. Maybe she won't come forward. And if there's not a conviction, we're off the hook. Do any of you have a process in place now to independently investigate the facts? Yes, Senator, I'll answer uh, that question. I, I think as we uh, talked about with the, our recent case uh, involving the player, Jeffrey Taylor, we, we immediately com commenced an independent investigation, uh, retained uh, two outside uh, counsel, um, including two former prosecutors, one of whom had extensive history in dealing with domestic violence. Yes, for the NBA. NHL, do you have an independent process to investigate the facts? Under the CBA, we do, yes. Your own investigators? Correct. They're, they're pulling records, they're pulling 911 tapes, all of that. We have, yes, we have our, an internal process for conducting investigations on all misconduct, yes. Does MLB yet have an independent investigation yeah. process? Yeah, yes we do. It's not my department, but we do have a department of investigation. And does the NFL have its own independent investigation? Yes, ma'am, we do so with our security department, our internal security department. How many of you, yes or no, have an independent program for just wives and significant others where the players are not allowed to attend? Whether it is a confidential um, here, here are the issues you're going to face. Here are phone numbers you can call if you're in financial stress. Here are phone numbers you can call if you've been abused. Here are places you can go for help. How many of you have an independent program like that for spouses and significant others? Yes, we do, the NFL. NFL? We have, yes. MLB? 
Yeah. Um, Excuse me. Uh, some some teams have them. Uh, univer uh, uniformly, we don't all have them, but it's something with that we're Looking at. developing at this okay. point. Okay. I'll follow up with more questions on that sure. because I want to make sure you get it. Yes. Yes, I think as, uh, as, as Michelle Roberts explained earlier, uh, we in the uh, Players Association have been meeting with our family organizations to determine the best ways that we can provide resources for them going forward. Do you, but you don't have an independent one now? No. Okay, because in some of the articles I read, the women were saying there was no place for us to go. The teams weren't calling us. The teams weren't reaching out to us. It was all about the players. And what about NHL? Our program extends to the players' families, and historically, our program doctors have been accessed by players, spouses, and significant but others. But do you have an independent program, for example, it, it, for initiation into the league when someone comes? Is there an independent program for the spouse of the player? To the extent they exist, I think they would exist at the team level. There isn't one that's okay. league-wide. I would like to look, have your league look at whether or not there should be a policy that that's required. I, I think all of you are terrific people and want to do the right thing. But you've got to understand that the status quo is not acceptable. That turning the other way and thinking that this problem um, is being handled by these players and their families out of the light, um, it, it, many, many, many families are suffering. And um, I think you all know that in your hearts.